How do you identify if all of the tools on your website are firing useful events into your Google Analytics? Well, you debug. Follow along in this episode as we learn how to debug your website and identify if an event is firing from each of your key conversion resources on your website, and if not, what to do about it. Let's go. The frustration that I commonly hear from dealers is not feeling like they can trust that the key events or conversions in their Google Analytics are a complete, accurate representation of what happened on their website. That frustration exists for good reason, because the vast majority of dealerships have incomplete analytics when it comes to measuring conversion data, and therefore, you can't really understand the ROI of your marketing sources. Let's dive into how you can debug your analytics to be able to go source by source through your website through a simple and easy to duplicate process to be able to identify which events are firing with each of your conversion methods and potentially which are not. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download some kind of Chrome extension that allows you to do debugging with analytics. Once you have that installed, make sure that you navigate to your website with it refreshed and active go to Google Analytics and navigate to the debug section. Once you navigate around your website a little bit, you should see some events starting to fire. Assuming you see those, you have a good connection and now you can begin debugging. Start by going to something simple, like a form on your website. Fill out the form and send a test lead. Look at your Google Analytics debugger and see if an event fires that is specific to that form fill. ASC form submission or ASC form submission sales would be the correct thing to see fire. But depending on your website vendor, you could see something like form submit or form success. As long as it's a coherent signal that says there was a firm hard conversion that took place here and this is the name of the event, you're good to go. If you don't see a coherent event and all you saw was your navigation signals, you saw uh, navigating to a VDP, you saw clicking on things, but you never saw a conversion event from the form, write that down and write down which was the event owner that you see in the debugger. That event owner will tell you who you need to contact later to be able to get events sent to your analytics. Next, go to the next conversion method. Click on the phone number on the top of your website. Does it fire a click to call? Go to your chat and begin a chat session. Make sure that you follow through to submitting your information so that hopefully you get a valid ASC comm submission event or something analogous to it. Go to your digital retailing and complete the process step by step. Digital retailing may fire multiple events depending on where in the process you are and you wanna take extra care to log each and every one. There could be one for starting the digital retailing process, another for submitting your trade information, another for submitting credit information, and there might be a final one when you've actually submitted personally identifiable information, and that's the one that you wanna capture. Make sure that you've logged these carefully and go through every single conversion method you can think of on your website. Be extra careful to log the event owner as long as there is one. When you're done with the process, you should have a list of events that fire, in relation to the conversion methods on your website. And those that do fire, you should probably toggle on as key events in your Google Analytics because those are things that signal a conversion took place and you have a lead in your CRM. Where you have holes, you're going to need to reach out to your technology vendors. It might be your website vendor, but it might also be a specific technology vendor like your chat vendor or your digital retailing solution. You wanna reach out to that vendor and say, can you send me events to my Google Analytics? If they can, and they should be able to, they will ask you for something like your measurement ID from Google Analytics, and you'll simply send that to them. They'll configure their end to be able to send events, and now you'll debug again to verify that now you're receiving high quality, trustworthy events into your Google Analytics. Do this until you feel like you have complete transparency and accountability for all of your conversion sources, and now you're going to be able to measure, am I getting leads and from which sources of traffic. If a vendor doesn't have a solution for sending good quality events into your analytics, I highly recommend that you press them to create one or you consider a change because without knowledge, you have no power to be able to make informed decisions about your marketing. Whether or not you end up with a complete picture of your events and therefore key events that are firing in your analytics, be sure to repeat this process on a monthly and quarterly basis 
to continue to make sure that the same events are firing. Sometimes a vendor will change the event that they fire, and then other times you might have changed a technology vendor and might not be thinking about whether that created a hole in your conversion events. Be extra careful when you switch vendors. If you switch chat or digital retailing providers, they may fire events on a different trigger than the old one, and you're gonna to need to reconcile the two in order to figure out if you have continuity from the old event to the new event. To recap, it's important to understand if your website and the technologies within it are firing events that allow you to understand with a degree of certainty if you received a lead. Debugging your analytics is the practice of taking a debugging extension, connecting it to analytics, and then testing the different conversion methods on your site to see what fires or perhaps doesn't fire. And then you take that information, go to your vendors, and make sure that you're getting complete information sent to your analytics so that you have a clean sheet of music to measure moving forward. In the next episode, we're gonna talk about how to create custom events, which are especially useful if you debugged your analytics, found some holes, but have a next best thing that you can create to measure on your own. We'll see you there.